Today I'm going to show you how to draw a flower that grows. So it starts off like this in this cute little pot and we're gonna add some magic water to it. Some cool photosynthesis and some sun happening up here. And then, bum ba da bum, it grows into a bigger flower with lots of friends and beautiful colors. So if you would like to learn how to draw this, join me right down here. Nope, right there, yep, got it. All you need today is a piece of paper and something to draw with and something to color with. And yes, that's it. First, we're going to fold our paper so that we can grow our flower. I'm gonna demonstrate on my right the right side of my paper. First, you're gonna fold corner to corner. And then we're gonna crease it with our fingers down the middle. So we now have two halves. Then we're gonna fold a second fold that we pull from the bottom and then crease it. Now if we open it up, we have one, two folds. Let's see that again. Fold halfway down, hamburger style, crease it. Fold another half, crease it. I'm first gonna start by drawing my pot. which is gonna be on the bottom half of my drawing. Remember, if you need to pause the video at any time, please feel free to do so. Now I'm gonna draw a curved line for the top of my pot, and I'm gonna make my pot look pretty happy. So he's gonna have a winky face and a sticking out tongue, but let's worry about that later. We've got a straight line that goes across the fold. Hey, hair, get out of there. Now we're drawing a circle at the top, and I'm going to draw upside down U's to make the petals of my flower. Now I'm gonna draw a sideways V and a circle for my I, a U, and then a big U and a line for my tongue. Two big circles for my eyes. A tiny little mouth. And some eyebrows. I drew number 11s in between my petals for some accentuating marks. And now we're gonna get started on drawing the flowers inside. Now you're welcome to be creative and draw different types of flowers inside, uh, but I'm going to show you how I drew mine. So we're gonna connect our two lines to go all the way down. Ooh, that's a tall flower. So everything that goes kind of above that area is gonna stay hidden. So we wanna make sure that we don't go kind of below, uh, the, below the pot area too much. Now I'm gonna draw two circles. This is going to be the centers of my flowers. And I'm gonna draw some big, loopy, upside down U's for my petals. My hair is really liking to make an appearance here. We're gonna go all the way around. And I'm gonna give mine some sleepy eyes cause these flowers are tired. They have been growing and they are exhausted. Some accentuating number ones to go in between my petals. And then I'm going to draw the stem to connect it and a few leaves. Big upside down use for my petals. Some number 11s for my accentuating marks. And some very tired eyes. Oh, so tired. And a smiley face. 
a stem to connect to the center of my flower and then I'm going to draw some leaves. One more leaf for good measure. So now that you see it folds, I'm going to draw some grass. And then now I might want to add any thicker lines for shadows. So this makes your flower appear like it's a little bit more three-dimensional. So I have a shadow on one side of my petal and one side of my leaf. And I'm gonna make my pot open. So I drew another line to do that. Now the fun stuff, let's get coloring. Now you'll notice when I color that I leave some marks open with white so that the appearance of a highlight shows through. So that's just the white of my paper, I just don't all the way color it in. And I used marker for this, but you're welcome to use colored pencil, you could even paint it. Don't forget to sign it. Ta-da! Great job guys, happy Earth Day! Like and subscribe for more videos.